Last time on Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. What does the witness have to be able to the encampment of the lake have anything to do with this case? The answer is nothing. I object to this line of questioning. Objection, objection sustained. Wait now, I'm the one who says that. Well then say it already. Objection sustained. Thanks for nothing, your honor. And now, back to objecting to people. do it it'll turn out okay hey everyone it is january 9th 2019 and you're watching more phoenix wright ace attorney it is day two of the investigation of turnabout goodbyes so let's just get to it december 26 detention, detention center visitors room Maya! Hey, Nick! It's you! I'm glad Mr. Edward made it through the day, okay? It's a relief! Hey! Why'd you do that anyways? I don't know. I just knew I had to do something. I know I'm not the lawyer my sister was. Meep. I'm sorry. Well, you did save the trial. Just behave from now on, okay? That is still loud. Topic. Questioning. Have you been questioned yet? No, not yet. Detective Gumshoe was here just now. He said, seeing as this, he said, seeing as this was your first offense, we'll let you go at the questing, pal. He says pal a lot. Phew. He wanted me to get bail money ready. You can pay for me, okay? <laughs> huh? How much? I don't know. I guess I'll send you a bill or something. Why do I picture giant bills of money every time I hear the word bail? Any luck with Mia? You know your sister is a lawyer. I need a, ch I need a channel to help me out because I'm, I'm apparently I'm worthless without her. None. I can't get through to her at all. I tried. I really did. I don't know what to do. I think I probably shouldn't have stopped my training. 
Hmm. Sounds like she really did did do her best. Oh, got my nose. Oh, it's not good at all. Oh. I should check to see if there's any waterfalls in the local area. I wonder if I'll ever see my sister again. No clues, no clues to oh no, Maya became invisible. <laughs> oh, yeah. Where's my back? Will this cheer you up? one say I'm a lawyer but spirit mediums well I don't know at least if you're I know if you're close but at least some people recognize you but these are medium and trading clothes I wonder if I'll ever be a proper medium I do not know my Maya I do not know Time to be moving on. Gord Lake Park entrance. Hmm. There are fewer than there were yesterday, but the cops are still around in the park. I wonder if I could come shoes here today. Or Lake Public Beach. I haven't seen Larry around today at all. Good. Probably off paying for the nose on a date with the lovely Candace. Ford Lake Woods. Ah! Hey, Detective Gumshoe! Hey, pal! The trial today, it er. It er. Yes, what about the trial? Well, I was gonna say good show, but it wasn't really all that. Not like that Nickelodeon show, all that. No, th that was a cool show, pal. Though you did save Edgeworth, I guess, pal. I just wasn't sure how to thank you. You know, pal. Er, thanks. Tomorrow's trial. Detective Gumshoe. Any idea what strategy Von Karmus is planning for tomorrow? It sounds like he's bringing another witness, pal. Another witness. Oh, right. He's just thinking about that in the trial today. There were two witnesses. I was wondering who that other witness was. Or who who was it? S sorry, pal. 
much as I'd like to, I'm not at liberty to divulge that information, pal. Right. Oh, right. I wanted to ask you about something about Edgeworth. What's up, pal? Is he... Is he afraid of earthquakes? I never heard anything about it, that before. Hmm. Mr. Edgeworth doesn't talk about him too much. See, pal? There's one thing that's clear as day. Him hating crime the way he does, pal. And him becoming a lawyer. Him becoming scared of earthquakes. It all started with that incident. The DL6 incident. Yep, that's the one, pal. Fifteen years ago, when he saw his father shot before his very eyes, he still feels the pain now. You can see it in his eyes. I just want to talk to you about Maya Faye. Huh? She's not. Huh? Huh? That, she's not out on bail yet, pal. That's strange. I told them what I told them to let her go as soon as they had their report written up. Man. I don't know what would happen in that courtroom today if it wasn't for her. Seen her get seen her get dragged out by the bailiff? I'll be honest with you, pal. I said a tear or two. Edward, he was so moved. He, I saw his lip trembling. Really? Cold as ice, Edgeworth? He was, grateful. he was really grateful for what she did, you know, pal. I'm going back to the station, pal. I'm going to report on mine and get her out as soon, there as soon as I can, pal. Thank you. Oh, wait. Um, I was wondering, how much is Bill going to be? Sorry about that, pal. Mr. Edgeworth is posting the whole amount. What? Edgeworth? Didn't I tell you, pal? Be grateful to her for what she did. All right, pal. Well, don't forget to pack up her. Go, go pick her up, okay? Hmm. Maybe I can get Edward to pay this month's rent too. Hmm, probably not. Fuck. Fuck the way I came. Commissioner's room. Hey, Nick! You finally came! It's with the paperwork. I'm free to go! Even though you were just here like five minutes ago! Why don't you just wait around? I have to play a lot of button clicks. I don't know, Maya. I don't know. Free at last. Huh? Mm, puffy face. Those interrogators were really mean. They were like, okay, what did you do this time? I was some sort of criminal. Can you believe it? Oh, they let you out in the end, didn't they? Mm. Oh, it reminds me. Thanks for 
Bill. Thanks, Ed. Thank you. Thank Edgeworth. Huh? He posted a bill for you. So he was grateful for what you did. <coughs> Mr. Edgeworth did that? I have to be up to him. <coughs> we gotta win this case, Nick. What do you wish to do next, little girl? department. <coughs> we, we go to the park and look for Cordy. Mm. I was kidding. Kind of. I want, I want to see this lake monster. Still, if there's any clues out there, I think the park is good as bad as any. What do you say? Shall we head down there? Sure. Did you say anything lately? Hmm. You know, I did notice one thing while I was here in detention. <coughs> it's pretty, it's really pretty comfortable here. It's warm and they keep it very clean. I meant, have you noticed anything about the case? I have still said about Mia. I said, I should leave her alone. Back to where we just were again. Yay! At the entrance. cops around here today, are there? They're probably back at the precinct working out the case against Edgeworth. Hmm. Hey, y'all. Hey, it's Luna. It's Luna. Luna. Whatever her name is. Y'all really did it today. What, 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 what do we do now? I'm not complaining. <laughs> See, I did a, a little thinking, a little self-reflection, you might say. <laughs> I realized that being a witness is a big, a mighty big responsibility. But I just, I just went up there and started blabbing any little thing that came to mind. A lot of. So, you see, I want to make it up to y'all. Make it up? What did you think of, of the trial? <laughs> to be honest, I was just... I was just doing it half just to say I've been a witness. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> just to be honest, I was I was doing it half just to say I'd been a witness. Even though I, I really didn't see anything. Kind of convinced myself I, I had, though. <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> I know I caused you all a lot of trouble. It's a tricky, rank little thing. Yeah, I sure know that now. <laughs> I'll be fine the next time I witness a murder. Right! You mean the first time you witness a murder? Well, what about Gordy? Well, the 
last figure, the trial's only soaking the flames of Gordy Fever. I'll get my exclusive photos and rock it to stardom. As soon as I get this cough drop in my mouth. My throat's killing me. Ugh. <coughs> All right, Laura. You go, girl. I wish I could be the first. Wish I could be the first to get a photographer too. Finish your spirit medium training first. Things to go pick a second career. Lana, what do you mean by making it up to us? Well, you, well, well, you see, actually, I got a bit of information for y'all. What? That Von Karma didn't. That Von Karman didn't want me to say it's nothing about it all. What information? Now we get to the heart of it. Now we get to the heart of it all. See, I reckon, I reckon, I reckon we might be able to enjoy ourselves a little exchange. Exchange? Um... I thought this was to make it up to us. Right. I propose, I propose a little exchange to make it up to you. To you. What? If it doesn't compete, my friend. Uh. Hey. I see, I see you thinking, my, how unsophisticated these southern folks are. It's written all over your face. Let me tell you, most southerners are way more sophisticated than you. I'm just an exception, okay? What are you going to be? We, we going to deal or not? What? What do we do, Dick? Deal. Not any other leaves. I don't think it was a choice here. Okay, how much? Huh? You're completely off your rocker. I may not be sophisticated. I'm not trying to rob the poor. Huh? The only fair, the only fair exchange for information is information. Listen good. What I need from you is information about Gordy. What? 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 Whoa! Good, good, Gordy. But, but, but Gordy doesn't. I mean, Gordy might not exist. Then bring me proof that show he so he don't. Uh. Let me keep watching for my car, okay? Y'all see something? Y'all come to me first. Got it, y'all? Okay. Right. See y'all later. Okay, Nick. Let's get hunting. And let's get dangerous. Maya, stop watching Darkwing Duck. Hunting. You don't seriously mean. Cody, I sure do. What about Edgeworth? <laughs> For 
13 for 40 for him, Nick. Don't you get? Okay. And how do we search for a make-believe monster? Maybe we can find a monster myth specialist. Really public beach. It's the Steel Samurai! What's that? The, the Steel Samurai Nick! Yo! Yo! Maya! Larry, what the heck is this? It was my girl. I can't turn my voice on my wrist. Oh, uh, it was my. It was my girl Candace's idea. She was all. If you like, put that, put this here. It'd be like really cool. Dude, she gave it to me along with the banner. It's really impressive she could find those for you. Well, she knows a lot of people. And that's how it's finished now. So she got them for free. Right. Hi, Nick. I don't know about that. I'm a mere seller of hot dogs. Those flags look sadly out of place here. Flapping listlessly back and forth in a cold wind underneath a cold sky. I think I kind of used that place a kind of festive atmosphere. It reminds me of the war of the eyeglasses. The war of the what? Huh? Huh, what? You mean you don't know about the war of the eyeglasses? What the heck is it? I'll go fairies do it every summer, huh? I guess we're the only ones. I ask again, what the heck is it? Doesn't that still samurai look a little out of place? I mean, it's so huge. I guess it I guess it is good advertising. Huh, really? It looks pretty well made to me. Hep! Still a novice, aren't you, Nick? You're just a noob! Really? True kind of, true kind of shows like Cody and me don't fall for this kind of stuff! These still Samurai fans are obviously in a league of their own. Yo, Nick. What happened with Edgeworth? Well, he we made it to the, the first day in court, all right. I know how good our prospects are from here on, though. Huh? Hey, Larry, did you know Edgeworth's for weakness? He's terrified of earthquakes. It's like a little boy. Huh? That's weird. I don't 
think it was ever like that in I don't think it was ever like that in school. No. Really? Well, well, we were only in the same class for a year. We transferred schools pretty quickly. Transferred? Right. Right. Right, when the DL6 incident happened. It's not like, like Larry knows about it, though. Hey, Larry. What was that big thing up there before? Huh? Huh? Oh, the big guy? I saw it for about a month, yeah. It's a big hit with the kids! Sweat, 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 sweat. Why wasn't it there yesterday? Huh? Huh? Oh, right. The, the compressor was busted. Com compressor? Yes, it's that little unit by my hot dog stand. That's why I used to put air in the steel samurai. It broke a little while ago, so I sent it in for repairs. Oh! And yeah, I thought you inflated it by yourself. Pfft, nah. I thought, I don't know, I, I didn't do mind to do that. It was, I condemned that thing. Nope. Blah, 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 December 26th, Police Department, Criminal Affairs. Hey there, pal. What's up? You look at all sorts, pal. Wait, you go and do something that's going to hurt Mr. Edward's case again? What do you mean again? Whatever. Have a seat, pal. I'm here for you if you need anything besides money, that is. Listen. How do you face a proceeding? It's not really. You know what I mean coming up. We're supposed to talk about Edward's motive. His, his motive? See, Mr. 
Mr. Edwards' father died in the DL6 incident, pal. The guy who got the one victim to declare innocent was the victim in this case, pal. Robert Hammond. They're saying that's why Mr. Edwards shot him. And it's talk about his past. I would love to drag that out and hit him in court tomorrow, too. Poor Edgeworth! I gotta admit, it doesn't look good, pal. Say, Detective Gumshoe, do you know Gordy? Monster down in Gordon Lake? Not, no, not personally, no, pal. Well, we're looking for him. Huh? You out of your mind? Eek! Is that time to go, go wild monster hunting, pal? How about the animal crossing for me then? I told you take the gun to have to deal with water. Nick! Try telling him sooner next time! Er, sorry. Hmm, 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 hmm. Looking, 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 looking. I see you, pal. Sorry for shining at ya. Okay! I just had to jump shoot with Edgar, 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 search for Gordy. Huh? I'll loan you one of our new, new secret weapons for finding evidence. Really? You can take whatever one you like. Your weapons. Okay, okay, give us the goods. Hold on now, everything in due time. First, let me show them to you. These are our best and brightest. Introduce, introduce same secret weapon number one. Missile. M missile. This is a canine police stock. Still in training, pal. Missile, missile, here boy! Woof! Woof woof! Here he is! Hey! He's cute! Look that cute dog! A cute, a cute dog? This will help us how? <laughs> woof! Let's see reference number two, a fishing pole! Hey, this is my own professional pal pole, pal. Did it come true? Looking for a monster. Yeah! How are you supposed to cut the sea monster with a fishing pole? Never know you to try it, pal! Okay, this next one's the last one. Oh, please, I'm, I'm, I'm running wrong by our choices. Let's get, get rid number three. I'm not a detector! Here. This is gum tree. We're having a live. Right. I have a fight with a metal detector. Hey, you never know. It might be eating soda. It might have been eating soda cans, pal. Right, which will it be? Hmm. I can see what they come on my neck. They all seem so perfect. I can't mind either for the totally opposite reason. Oh, oh, I can't, can't, well, can't hurt to borrow one of them. Oh. 
Rebar Missile. Rebar Missile? Sure thing, pal. Be good to him. Woof! So cute! Oh boy. Have a little fun here. Hey, Nick. Hmm. Missile's been acting. Missile's been acting strangely. Missile? Oh, oh, right. That little creature of yours. Hey, I love the little doggies. Good boy, good boy. Grrr. Well, what's wrong, Missile? Eat nerd. Woof, woof, eat nerd. Woof, woof. Yep, 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 yep. Eek. Missile. Sorry, Larry. Sorry, if I don't pay my bills, Nick. Uh, 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 gonna have to this time. Can we borrow one of the other things? Hmm, yeah, sure, pal. But I think back to the last one I sent you. Department policy. I think you picked what it will be. For that swimsuit looking fishing pole? Sure thing, pal. Our brakes be sure to dispose of it properly, okay? Er, uh, right. You know you can't catch so many fish in this lake. I'm not the small fry. I'm not the biggest fry of them all. Gordy! You really gonna try to thought for some monster? The same way it's worth? Yes. Bring the tears in my eye and it brings a tear to my eye in more ways than one. Hmm. Okay, Nick, this is a good spot. A good spot for what? some fishing she's serious 
Um, what are you gonna use for bait? Oh! Yeah, oh. Hmm. Hmm. I guess like something that, like that would happen. We should have brought Miss along with us too. At least then we would have bait. Kidding, I'm kidding. Kind of. Hum, some jokes are better left untold. Oof, she hit she hit me. Okay, what this Nick? Try to try to reel in and do cans or boots. Okay. Here we go. I, I look y'all what y'all what are y'all doing sorry Lana don't tell me don't tell me y'all some come still from his payroll Nick payer dear dear Y'all, y'all, your dog, dog gone mind. Yes, I mean yes. It's a simple. Huh? Never thought about. I never thought of that. Good luck. Thanks. I don't believe it. Back again. <laughs> the joke's over. Back to the gumshoe, I, I, need, I need the last thing. Hmm. Yes, sure, pal. I think that's one of those sweet tartan policy. Take your pick, which it'll be. But it's really like this time. Roll the detector. Sure thing, pal. I'm not sure what we're gonna do fine with it, this. Remember, you ain't afraid of a monster, anything is possible. Anything! Roll the detector. Detective gumshoe. All right, now it's time to get serious. Had our fun. There's 26, boat rental shop. Hmm. It's always so quiet here. I wonder, the, I wonder if the boat shop is closed for good. Well, the are in the lake and all. So I took the second vacation until it blows over. I get it. Sure is loud enough about it. Whatever it is, it must be in those bushes. Go check it out, Maya. Why do I check it out? Sneep! Nick! Look! Huh, 
an air tank. Ah, huh, the valve's broken. I thought it was forty. Maya, first of all, why would Gordy be in the bushes? And second of all, why would a Millie Tucker react to a sea monster? Oh! Huh? There's something wrapped around this air tank. Looks like a string of flags? Well, we might as well take a look with us now that we found it. It's heavy. It's because everything of dubious value. Small boat rental shop. Well, he was around. Well, they closed because of the murder. There's some boats floating around the dock. The murder took, a place from the bo took the murder took place in a boat from this dock. Apparently, the police took away the actual boat that was used that night. Indeed, there's space for one more boat at the dock. There's more forest off that way. I thought I'd find a useful clue in there. You never know till you try. You never know till you try. Hey, Mr. Balloon person. What about this thing? What? An air tank? What about it? Larry, I want to ask you about this tank. Is it yours? Say, is this air tank yours? Why would I have a thing like that? Look. See how there's a string of flags around the air tank valve? There's like a string of flags around the samurai there. He's sweating. He's guilty of something. Pff, must be a coincidence. Pff, there are a string of flags everywhere these days. Like elementary schools. And, and your college dealerships. Pff, look. Why would I need a tank anyway? Huh, I don't know. Maybe that big balloon behind you? You used that to inflate th that thing, didn't you? Inflate what? What else, you moron? That big, puffy, still samurai. Now, why do you go ask me a question like that? Looks like I hit the nail on the head. Right, right. Actually, um... Steve, the compressor I always use is on the fritz. So, so I try to use the tank to inflate it just once. And it didn't go so well. As I suspected. It didn't go well. Oh yeah. You think maybe it could be just a little bit more specific? Specific? 
Come on. Look at the picture and everyone's talking about it. Tell us, 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 tell us. So it's fine. <laughs> Whatever, it's not like a... It's like what I said, the compressor was busted. So I took the tank and tried to slice it right up to that. And then... Blam! The valve busted open and made this incredible noise. And then... That, and that tank then took off like a rocket. I took my poor display still samurai with it. What? Off in the gourd lake? <laughs> it sure scared the gourd out of my gourd. It sure scared me out of my gourd, that's for sure. Samurai, you're trying to fill up, flew away? What happened next? Well, that happened on the 20th or so. The 20th, a week ago? Now, as far as I can see, the tank went flying out into the lake. So I went out every night on a boat looking for it. I mean, I mean, Cayenne just did give me that still samurai after all. And when did you find it? Just the night before last. It flew, it flew, it flew way out there. It took me four whole days to find it. The night before last was the night of the murder. Sorry for not telling you, Nick. Actually, I was here the night of the murder. You see, I went home before midnight. So you didn't know about what happened? So, so you didn't know about what happened? No. That's too bad. It's not all bad. You solved one mystery at least. A mystery? And we should go tell her. Poor... There is no Gordy. Or is there? I'm some... That's a minute today's trial, that's for sure. Quite a serious business. That's why it's not the mother case anymore. Huh? Well, well, did you say you're about that case? Tell us that at least. Like I said, I pray for the, the dirt on the Gordy. Well, Mr. Lion, I got the info you all need. It's good glory for me. We found him. Huh, Gordy? Oh, we found him already. What? I mean, didn't want her yet? Not for real? Gordy really exists? Wait. And you got a photo? I have proof. Of course I have proof. No fair, Nick. It was from when I went to the bathroom, wasn't it? That's when you made contact with Gordy. Without me, Nick. Without me. No jabbering. We'll see your proof already. No jabbering already. 
Let's see it all proof. Larry's air take. What y'all doing with an air what y'all doing with an air tank? This is Gordy. Um, excuse me? What the fuck are you saying, Nick? It's a stand you're here. A hot dog stand. There's a giant playable samurai dog there. Do dog. Doll there. But we go an idiot who um hap just happens to be a, you know, I guess he's a, I guess you call him a friend maybe you know, uh, um, of of mine I guess tried to fill it. Yeah, he is an air tank and the loud blue tank flew into the lake. Apparently made a little pretty loud bang when it flew. A bang. The tank, along with the still champ the plated samurai, <coughs> fell into the lake at the same time. A couple was, a, a couple was taking a photograph of the lake. This photo. Way to ruin a gal's dreams. I'm sorry, Lada. Nah, it's okay. You win. I'll give you your info like I promised. Poor, poor Lada. So tell us the information you have. I promise to promise, I guess. I never heard the cops around here saying something about y'all witness tomorrow. They said they said he's the conductor of the boat rental place up the path here. Boat rental? There's someone there. I mean, it looks so deserted. This little guy living all by himself. You also go check it. You also go check it out. Thanks, Lotta. We will. Let's get cracking, Nick. Hold on. Something else? Yeah, and I had the murder. My my camera clicked qu qu twice, you know. Wait. So you have another photo? Well, well, yeah, there's nothing in it at all, just the lake. I figured we might use the evidence so I could to myself. Well, it might be helpful at all, but hey, I take it. The only photograph out of the core records. Bye now, y'all take care. Time for me to pack up and leave. Larry's fault. Legend lives on, I guess. The legend? Yeah, the legend of Larry, familiar to all who know him for any length of time. When something smells, it's usually the butt.
to whip that butts into shape. Good, let's show up. You're right. Doesn't seem like you went wrong at all. Well, let's go check it out. Well, let's go check it out anyways. Caretaker Shack. Number 26, Caretaker Shack. Keith of you? Where have you two been? I don't worry sick. Meep. Nick, you handle this. Oh, I think it's wisdom to you, Maya. Meg. Yes? Finally made up your mind, have ya? My mind? Y'all on the post? Y'all, y'all in the public pasta shop when I'm gone? Pasta? Pasta? Glad to hear it, glad to hear it. Make the old man proud. When you, when your kids left the house, I didn't know what to think. I'm gonna put to keep this whole place running like an old man like, like me. Polly, the kids are home. Hello, hello, Spock. A parrot, the one on the perch. Okay. Yes. I let the wet noodle in your cable ham, sonny. Nick, what's the wet noodle? Um, we come the available information. I say, you know, the fossil shop. That's a, real, that's a relief, isn't it, ain't it, ain't it Polly? Hello, hello, Spock. Uh, yep. Nose bubble, nose bubble. He fell asleep. I guess he's relieved. Um, a pasta shop? Uh, yep. That, the, the thing, the wet needle will live long when, I, when I'm gone. My father started it, you know? Let me you to the third generation. Meg? Yes? Tomorrow we'll start with the secret of dough tossing. The dough tossing? You did, Keith. Uh, yes? You'll, you'll be the best pasta wrangler this West has ever seen. But pasta wrangler? The West? Is that pasta from Italy? Meg! Yes? Now the best pasta always been made west of the Rockies, don't ya? This is America, not Japan. Right, of course everyone knows that. Nick! Huh? How long do we have to keep up this all new 
family charade. So now we're supposed to hear about the murder. Or at least I found out what that is. Um, this is about Renault's shop, right? What are you talking about? This here is the palace of pasta, the wet noodle. That, well, now you mention it, we haven't gotten any orders for pasta lately. All the kids come up and say, Yo, dude, you want to ride on one of your boats? That's why I keep them boats out there. Shudders these days. Don't I understand them? I am pretty confused myself. Nick, this ain't going anywhere. This will answer the witness for tomorrow, right? That's some way to get information out of them. Hmm. How about. That is that your badge? Y yes, yes it is. I don't believe it. Go guys to push your back my badge. I get it. Huh? Uh, yep, I got you figured out now. You're not Keith. Nick. Now I'll start checking the clothing's up. Um, sir? No, I'm not Keith. And I'm not Meg either! Grr! What you do, Meg and Keith? We're here for the a murder that took place in the lake the other night. Please help us! Grr! Huh, a lawyer, huh? Please, mister. All right, I'll help. But on one condition. What's that? When this case is over and done, you're on the, you'll run the wet noodle. I'm so happy to go. Okay, we promise. Wink, wink. Right, Maya? We did, Nick. What about cool free noodles for life? Yay! Nick, are you sure about this? Failing this case solved. Also, we wouldn't want to eat Phoenix noodles. I guess so. That's my boy. Good for you, Keith. What did I just say? You too, Meg. Yes. <laughs> Giving a tear to the old man's eye, you know. Now, what's that you want us to know? Speak up, Polly. Hello. Hello. Fuck. Err. That's weird again. How are we talking back to us? Ah, uh, yep. I've seen this. Is it about to sir? Keith? Yes? It's okay, you can call me Dad. D D Dad? You know something about this? Uh, yep. They're night on the lake. Yes, yes! I know all about that. I've seen it. Well, I 
suppose. You take it over the shopping hall. What you saw. I think I forget the time, but it was pretty dark outside. Probably night. I uh, yep. It was after midnight, but okay, whatever. Then I heard a bang, so I looked outside. Then I heard another one. Bang! A little while later, this boat comes back. And a young man walked by my window there. He's muttering something, he's muttering something to himself. Uh, yup. What did he say? Uh, yep. <laughs> he said, uh, yep. I forget. But he probably said, uh, yep. I remember tomorrow by court time. I promise. Uh, yep. Uh, yep, don't work though. Really? I picked up. I picked up from the. I picked up the dump after all. Figures it doesn't work. Then why do you keep it? I don't know. This looks right there. Summertime, I played with a mini fridge. A broken mini fridge. Of course, got that. This dump too. <laughs> that one in the right mind would throw away a good cooler. Look, a little safe. Hmm. <laughs> now don't you don't you go opening up prisons to people say about the prisons, Meg. Maybe later? Later? Wow, there are a lot of eyes of fit very efficient Gord Lake, aren't there? Mm. Something funny, Nick. All these fish are saltwater fish. Of course. What's the point of going fishing in your own backyard? Deep fishing, deep sea fishing is the best. Might have tasty too. All right. Alright. This fishing pole looks expensive. This is all about having the right equipment. Are you supposed to catch something with anything with a two cent rod? That's why it's the Ask Detective Gumshoe! What was here? What about here? What a kitchen unit. It's pretty clean. I mean, let's get lots of type of keep things tidy like that. You're forgetting, Nick! He's really have puzzles up here! That's right, Keith. I'm confused. Looks warm. It's a great idea. We should be out of the office. We can sit 
down with my clients, snug and warm, and drink hot cocoa. And what? Talk about murders? Oh, you're a potty pooper, Nick. Well, what an amazing pair that is. Good morning. I ain't knowing you, bitch. Hello. You ain't worth my time. What? You forgot, Meg? You gotta call her name first. Her name? Polly, how you been? Hello, hello, Cook. See? Neat, so the parrot's name is... Neat, so the parrot's name is Polly. Parrot added the core records. Give it all so you can say his hello. Ha 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 ha. Well, Paul, I can say a lot of things. You just need to know the secret words. The secret words? My mom has gotten worse of late. That's why I just tell everything that's important to pa old Polly here. Everything important? Hmm, I wonder. Polly, what's the number to the safe? One, two, two, eight, fuck! All right! Hey, 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 Polly, what's up, will ya? Yeah, see that? All oh, things is a little clever thinking. Send a criminal mind. Quick, Nick, quick, Nick, write that number down. Hey, don't give me, don't give me long little high schemes. You know what, eh? Little Terry was just here. Terry. Uh, yep. That kid next door. You, you always used to make him cry, remember? He's wearing this tattered old coat. Got himself some whiskers growing out of his face. He's talking about just like the gumshoe. He comes up and tells me to come to court, down to court tomorrow. Really? Somehow, I don't think we're gonna go to each one place from this guy. Who? Nah, maybe we should be leaving. I think you're right. Oh wait, I have one more question. Huh? Polly, Polly, have we forgotten something? Don't forget the L6. Fuck! Huh? What did you just say, Nick? One more time, Polly. Don't forget the L6. Hello. Fuck! What? The L6 incident? Hey, Mister. I mean, Dad. Zzz. You ain't weird. Who is this old guy? Why would that bird Polly know about the L6? We have to figure out who that old man is. Oh! What? He, lo he locked the door to the other side! Who could that old man be? I think we need to do a little more research on this. DL6 incident. Is that type of gumshoe?
Larry. Hey, pal, long time no see. You don't look so happy. What's wrong this time? Actually, won't ask you something. Yeah? Catch right here. You know the boat? You know the boat little shop down Bird Lake? Oh, yeah. The old man who rents it is pretty as a witness in court tomorrow, right? Uh, uh, how do you, how do you, uh, that was supposed to be a top secret. Do you know who that old man is, detective? Actually, I don't. He's a bit of an odd bird. I haven't fact, been able to get a straight answer out of him. I decided at first it wasn't precise enough to stand and testify as a witness. That's why we called Mr. Lala Hunt yesterday. As for who he is, we have absolutely no idea, pal. Hmm, sounds suspicious. Hmm. That's the gumshoot. Please help us. Huh, pal? We need to watch the DL6 incident. That's when Edward's father died. I can't help, I help the thing that has to do with this current case. T tell the truth, I don't know much about DL6 either. But Edward was for forbade us from, from reading the file. So I'm afraid I can't show them to you either, pal. However, if you can convince me that somehow the L6 is related to this case, pal, well, I guess I have to consider opening the files up, pal. Well, except you know, this little bird, Simit, that's proof. What's that, a parrot, pal? The old man at the boat shop, Bernal Shop's parrot. The parrot knew about that incident. That incident? DL6. What? What? Polly! Polly, have we got something? Squawk! Don't forget about DL6! Squawk! I'm pretty sure old man must have taught her that word. Yeah, 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 pal, but how would the old man know about the DL6 incident, pal? Wait, what if... What if that old man was connected to DL6? Nick, you think he might be? I get you, pal. Looks like you need some information on the DL6 incident. Through there is the station's record room. I'll give you a puzzle person to go in and find what you need. Alright, way to go, take the gun shoe. Okay, Nick, to the record room! I guess that's the time we face Edgeworth's past. Police department, record room. Yeah. Tears of files and tears of deaths, I guess. Let's find the DL6 stuff quick! 
Fifteen years ago, me and Ed were, were, were nine years old. We almost through fourth grade when he suddenly transferred. So deal six? Yep, I thought it was a finalist. Oh, okay, thanks. Just let me know what you want to know about the deal six incident. Oh, get the right file. Case summary. Well, f well, first I, I have to get a handle on the f main facts, like a summary. Right. Summary. Summary. Found it. Here you go. December twenty-eighth, two thousand one. The player of this game. Turned 22 years old. That's exactly 15. That's exactly 15 years ago from the day after tomorrow. So. Seven, nine, plus 15. That's. 2011 plus five makes it makes this case happen in 2016. About three years ago, well, two years ago, two and a half years ago. No, about two years ago. So in two days, this case is closed. The incident took place in the elevator at the district court. What? Is that the same district court they were holding a, a trial now? Looks like it. There's a large earthquake at 2 p.m. that day. Part of the court building collapsed and, and all of the lights went out. That was some um, earthquake. The time three people were trapped in the elevator. It took five hours for them to be rescued. Five hours. That would be a story like that in the dark. They were at lack of oxygen in the, the elevator and the survivors were unconscious. The survivors? One of the three in the elevator had been shot in the heart. That was Mr. Edward's father, wasn't it? He said that his father was shot before his very eyes. So Miles Edwards was one of the passengers in the elevator. You have data on the victim, on the victim Edwards' father. Yeah, hold on. Victim, victim, here, found it. Gregory Edwards, thirty-five, defense attorney. If he were still alive, he'd be fifty. He had lost that day's case in court and got in the elevator with his son, Miles. Miles? Miles Edwards, of course. So, he was on the elevator with his father? From the angle of the bull... Of the bullet and evidence, it could not have been suicide. The murder weapon, a pistol, was found in the elevator. The pistol had been fired two times. Where have I heard that before? 
Huh? It sounds just like our current case. What's going on here? Got an idea on a suspect in there? Hmm. That would be the guy my mom got arrested. Hold on. This is it. The man arrested as a suspect in the L6 was Yanni Yogi, the bear. Yogi the bear. He still, he still picnic baskets. Oh, oh wait, no. He was, he was a clerk in the office court, apparently. So, he must have been the third person in the elevator. Well, then, he had to have done it. But he was found innocent thanks to his defense lawyer, Robert Hammond. Hammond, the victim in our case. Right. The suspect, Mr. Yogi, was oxygen deprived. So much, th so much so he had brain damage. He lost all memory of being the elevator. After he was declared an instant, he disappeared. Mm -hmm. I wonder where Yogi could have gone to, I wonder. He may be closer than we think. Oh. I guess we know what generally what happened in DL6 now. I still don't know what the impact of what this thing had on it. The whole thing had a net worth. Nick! I'm gonna take the whole file! There's too much! We'll never get it out! You're right. How about we just take what we think we need? Found that court record. Right. That's probably all we. That's probably all we'll be able to find here. Now all that's left is the trial tomorrow. I wonder how Dad will do to fight in court. To be continued. Yeah. Oh. oh. Wow. An hour and a half. Wow. <coughs> well, we'll see what happens tomorrow or next time on Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Click the bell if you have not. Like and subscribe. And join me for next time. Never stop learning and enjoy the randomness. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.